A dad caught his daughter with drugs, but the way he handled it has people up in arms. Have a look. A dad is being slammed online for calling the police on his 16-year-old daughter after catching her with magic mushrooms. He posted online looking for advice after receiving criticism from his ex-wife and his parents for putting his daughter's future at risk. He's caught her smoking marijuana several times over the past few years and has already started drug testing her. The dad found a mushroom cap on black paper hidden underneath his daughter's desk. He then discovered an entire aquarium filled with mushrooms in the back of her closet. The dad called the police on his daughter. She was arrested, booked, and released into her mother's custody. She's now waiting on her court date. Was calling the police the best way to handle this situation, or did this father overreact? We always like to know what you think, so audience, let's put this to a vote, and everyone at home, what would you do? Did this man do the right thing by calling the cops over his daughter's magic mushrooms? Press yes or no on your tablets. How would you parent in this situation? Mm. I know how I'd parent. Yes, how, how would you parent? I'm gonna throw my daughter under the bus like that? No way. You aren't, okay. All right, y'all, have y'all voted? Okay. So 67% agree with you, Drew, no. But a third said yes, they would call the cops. I'm with the third. Well, you're with really? the third. Really? Yes, I am. Well, Hold shame your commentary me for my because decisions. I want to bring into the conversation our good friend, family physician, and author of Get the Behavior You Want Without Being the Parent You Hate, Dr. Deborah Gilboa. All right, you spend a lot of time dealing with parenting. What's your vote? What's your vote? He did the right thing. Yes. And the one third is clapping okay, along so with I'm us. Okay, so I'm gonna let you two battle this out. Why did he do the right thing? He did the right thing because he's tried parenting himself and with the mom to change this behavior. And this goes from personal use, the mushroom he found under the piece of paper, to growth and distribution. She had an aquarium full. That wasn't just for her. And that's a career choice that is totally unacceptable. <laughs> so it's right. because of that, it's because of this potential intent to distribute in his house that you, you think he did For the right thing? For her life. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people in my practice who have recovered from serious drug use, and I often ask them, is there anything your parents could have done? Because it's not all about parenting. And every one of them that's ever answered me said, I should have had to face the consequences of my actions sooner. The other yeah. thing is, legally, yeah. if he knows someone is dealing drugs in his house, he's liable. Let's just say the legal system does not handle this appropriately. That now she has a record and she can't get a job for the rest of her life. Potentially it, could be ruined. So how do you balance that out as a parent? My fear as a parent is don't die. I, I don't want my kid to get dead. I will yeah. do anything short of that. And this is a real risk. Do I think that there was a step measure from parenting it myself to getting professional help that wasn't the cops? I do. And for all we yeah. know, he already told her, look, if, if you do this, if again, you do this yeah. Yeah. I am going to call the police. I have yeah. no other choice. Yeah. Yes. If this was the very first time he noticed it, though, then that's would that much. change your opinion? No. It would. When do you know the problem is too big for you as the parent? I would say there's two things. And one is when you cannot figure out how to make this nearly adult person believe that love looks like consequences and boundaries, not like unending support no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and the other situation is when you can't think of more options, you have to recruit professionals. I hope that those are medical professionals, psychologic professionals, but if that's not an option for you or you've tried that and gotten refusal from the system or from the kid, right. you have to say, this is how the real world works. Your actions have consequences. I love you enough to make you see those so that you can start making different choices. And while and the children are under your roof, it's too hard to teach them later. But I will say magic mushrooms, they do come with some pretty severe consequences. There are people who go into full-scale paranoia oh, yes. and don't Psychosis. recover from that. They're not no. benign. They're not innocuous. So. But you also, this is one other example before we go to break of, in an ideal world, Law enforcement works with you as a parent, mm. and by unilaterally going in, you know, in the right communities, law enforcement, I think, does a great job of balancing throwing the book at someone versus saying, yeah. okay, let's have this be a teaching moment. This can't happen again. We would mm. love to think that would happen in every community. Sure. Dr. G, always on point. Appreciate you. <laughs>